Hello, all you healthy blood pressure warriors. My name is Ingrid, and I want to welcome you to the HealthyBloodPressure.com channel. High blood pressure is an all-too-common condition worldwide. It's more common in adults, affecting over 30% worldwide. But children may have it as well. In most cases, high blood pressure in children is not diagnosed on time. This is because it doesn't cause many symptoms in children and is thought to be more of an adult health risk. But untreated high blood pressure may cause problems later in life for these kids. Because of this, it's better to know how and when to have a child's blood pressure measured. Let's look at how blood pressure measurements for children are different from those of adults. And then we'll talk about what causes high blood pressure in children. Finally, we'll discuss treatment options and prevention. How to measure blood pressure in children. The method to measure blood pressure in a child is the same as for an adult. The child should sit comfortably with their feet supported. Their arms should be at the level of their heart and then the nurse would measure their blood pressure. Doctors typically check the blood pressure of a child three years or older once a year. If high blood pressure exists, they may check it more often. They may even advise the child to wear a blood pressure monitor. This helps them to record blood pressure over a 24-hour period. Often they need this approach to determine if the high blood pressure is consistent. This is because many times there could be a single high blood pressure reading without any cause for concern. What are the ideal blood pressure numbers for children? There isn't a single blood pressure reading that's ideal for children. The correct blood pressure depends on the child's age, gender, and height. And so the ideal blood pressure depends on the average blood pressure of others in the group. If the child's blood pressure falls between the 90th to 95th percentile of that group, they have prehypertension. Doctors will diagnose the child with high blood pressure if their blood pressure is above the 95th percentile of the group. All of this is true for children below 13 years. Once in their teens, the ideal blood pressure readings for a child become the same as that for adults. And so for them, a reading of 130 over 80 or more means the teenager has high blood pressure. Causes of high blood pressure in children. High blood pressure in children can be of two types, primary hypertension and secondary hypertension. There's also a third type called white coat hypertension. This is when a child's blood pressure is high only at the doctor's visit, but at other times the readings are normal. This is typically caused by anxiety during the doctor's visit. Now let's look at what causes primary and secondary high blood pressure in children. Primary hypertension. Primary hypertension is when there isn't another underlying medical condition for high blood pressure, yet there must be something that's causing the child's blood pressure to rise. Most doctors consider this cause to be genetic. Many children who develop high blood pressure seem to have family members who also deal with the same condition. Another reason behind primary hypertension is obesity. Many times, obesity could also have a family history. Other times, it's simply due to lifestyle factors. Secondary hypertension. Children above six years old and teenagers may have either primary or secondary hypertension. However, secondary hypertension is more common in younger children below the age of six. This is when high blood pressure is caused by some other medical condition. Kidney disease is one such condition. Some children with high blood pressure also have abnormal blood vessels. Both of these conditions are the cause of most cases of secondary hypertension in children. Another cause is an endocrinological disorder. This means there could be issues with major hormonal glands, such as the thyroid or the adrenals. A small percentage of children also have some kind of heart disease, and this causes secondary hypertension as well. Symptoms of high blood pressure in children. Most children don't experience any symptoms of high blood pressure. This is especially true for a mild rise in high blood pressure or prehypertension. As blood pressure goes higher and is undetected, the child may begin to have some symptoms. These include headaches, vision problems, chest pain, breathing difficulties, abdominal pain, and dizziness. Infants may show different symptoms of high blood pressure. These include not feeding well, irritability, and vomiting. Many children may not have any symptoms even when their blood pressure reaches the more serious stage 2 hypertension. 
and that's why it's important to monitor a child's blood pressure at least once a year. What are the high blood pressure treatment options for children? For prehypertension and stage 1 hypertension in children, most doctors recommend lifestyle changes. This means eating a healthy diet. The diet should include whole grains, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, and low-fat dairy. It should also exclude processed foods as much as possible. This is because processed foods contain excess salt, and this salt can further raise blood pressure. Lifestyle changes also include regular exercise. Children and adolescents should get at least an hour of physical exercise every day. This may be a combination of an exercise regimen and playing outdoors. If the child's blood pressure still refuses to come down, doctors may prescribe medication. Most blood pressure lowering medications that adults take are also suitable for children. The doctors would prescribe a dosage that's more age and weight appropriate. In summary, high blood pressure is rising among children. Most children have an underlying condition that raises their blood pressure but for some it may be an effect of genes and obesity. Many children with high blood pressure go on to have high blood pressure as adults, but this can be prevented through lifestyle changes. That's why early screening and detection of high blood pressure in children is necessary. An overall healthy lifestyle can prevent lifelong medication for children with high blood pressure, and that begins at home at the family level. So if a child is diagnosed with high blood pressure, the parents should make room for improving their lifestyle. This includes eating a healthy diet and exercising as a family. Also, training their young minds so that they understand the importance of maintaining their lifestyle when at school or outdoors. Treating the underlying cause may also reduce blood pressure. The goal is always to have the child not grow up to have lifelong high blood pressure. Make a difference in your health today. Get our 101 Blood Pressure Lowering Foods ebook. As you probably already know, the number one way to lower your blood pressure is to eat healthy. That's why we researched and wrote an ebook called 101 Foods to Lower Your Blood Pressure. This ebook contains all kinds of foods that are scientifically proven to lower your blood pressure, and we'd like to give it to you for free. Just go to healthybloodpressure.com and download it today. Thank you for watching and have an amazing day.